it's age okay so let me go into variable view so my next variable is age I'm gonna give it a name age uh, there you go it's been given the name let me get rid of the decimals it's just a number it's just a whole number uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna it is an ordinal variable so I'm gonna specify it to be ordinal and now I'm gonna set the values okay so I think uh, zero represented the value from 20 years uh, to 30 years okay let me add that uh, one represented 30 years okay uh, to 40 years and we're using the convention here that it's inclusive of the lower bound excludes the upper bound okay uh, two represents uh, 40 years uh, to 50 years okay add that three represents uh, 50 years okay to move that way to 60 years okay let me add that and finally four represents from a coding perspective will represent 60 plus years of age so let me add that so let me just make sure i've got that right zero one two three and four zero represent 20 to 30 and four represent 60 plus so let me just go back into the excel sheet and make sure them values are correct so you can actually see i get the r you can see that the coding was zero one two three and four that i specified in excel so that's actually correct so what i'll do is i'll go back into uh, spss and I'll just hit OK on that. And that's that variable coded up now. Age is now coded up. So if I go back into my data view window, okay, you can actually see that the numbers have now been changed to the actual ages. Yeah. Okay. So what I would what I want my class to do, yeah, is to continue in this particular fashion, going through that Excel sheet, coding up the variables, uh, uh, giving them a name, setting their scales of measure, and where their scales of measure are nominal or ordinal, okay, uh, actually putting in the values. You can actually see that there is a variable in here. Let me go back into Excel. Okay, we have length of service is ordinal, ordinal, nominal. Uh, there's a scaled variable there, which is salary. What variable is that? That's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the eighth variable that I have. So let me just go back into SPSS because that's my fourth scaled variable. So going back into SPSS, the eighth variable, which will be this one here. If I go into variable view. The eighth variable is this. Actually, this represents the salary of the individual. So let me say salary, salary. Uh, it has a scale of measure. As I said, the scale of measure is scale. Okay, so there you go. So scale variables, we don't give them any values because the value itself has uh, represents represents the measure. Okay. So if I go back in now, you can actually see that salary is after being set up here. Now, obviously, the job for the students is actually to do all of the rest of the coding. I'm not going to continue that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do any more of that in this particular video. But hopefully, this has sort of set the scene for us, yeah, and uh, has has sort of shown you how to how to code up your variables. So now you can actually start generating graphs. I'm in SPSS's data view window here. Uh, it could be in the variable view window. It doesn't make any any difference. But you see, if I go to the file menu up here, okay. Or this this particular this particular list up here. See, there's graphs, legacy dialogues. I could choose a histogram, okay. Uh, and maybe what I'll do is I'll do a histogram of the salary for this particular the, for the salary distribution for this particular organization. So salary is going to go in here. Uh, I'm going to hit OK, and voila, there's my histogram for the salary and actually you can see that's positively skewed it's positively skewed this is yeah okay and you can see it has a tail going to the right hand side yeah which indicates that there's a few people that are on large salaries within this organization but the vast bulk of people are down in this particular direction yeah and i could do other things i could go to analyze descriptive statistics and i could look at look for some particular descriptives okay and uh, let's say descriptives for salary okay what types of descriptives might i want well let's go into options i might just want the mean the standard deviation the minimum the maximum so that'll give me the average salary it'll give me the standard deviation of the salaries and it'll give me the minimum salary and also the maximum salary okay i could also test to see whether it's skewed by asking for the skewed skewness statistic so let me hit continue on that and let's hit okay and you can actually see that everything's had to come out here within spss so for salary for the 1875 workers the minimum salary was 18,000 the maximum salary was 97,000 the average salary was 38,000 with a standard deviation of 14,000 uh, and the skewness statistic is 1.22 which is positive which indicates positive skew which actually agrees with the graph that we have up here so from a statistical perspective and 
from a rapport perspective that's what I'm trying to uh, I'm, 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 I'm hoping to see is that you know people will generate some pictorial some graphical representations of their variables uh, they'll generate some descriptive statistics and uh, maybe one or two inferential statistics and they'll relate the descriptive statistics back to what they've visually seen okay and that's what I'll be uh, given grades for but anyway this particular video isn't about generating statistics uh, and graphs and so on it's actually was just solely about how to code up the data whoops how to code up the data within within SPSS so I know that was quite fast, uh, but you'll have the you'll have you'll be able to just hit pause as 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 you're watching this. So once again, guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, uh, and I hope that this particular video was in some way uh, intuitive, and more importantly, I actually hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.